Now we have here that which concerns in chapter 16 that we're coming to, by the way, that there were three main feasts and all the males were required to go. Those three feasts were Passover, Pentecost, and Tabernacles. And again, I've been over this with you, I think, twice before. And I recognize there may be some that are just joining us and say, well, I haven't been over with you. Well, if you stay with us five years, we'll be back here and be going over it again when we get to it back in the book of Exodus and the book of Leviticus. Now, he says here, observe the month of Abed. Keep the Passover unto the Lord thy God. And then we move on down, and he gives here the instructions for the Passover. And he says, verse 5, Thou mayest not sacrifice the Passover within any of thy gates, which the Lord thy God giveth thee, but at the place which the Lord thy God shall choose to place his name in. There thou shalt sacrifice the Passover at even, at the going down of the sun, at the season that thou camest forth out of Egypt. And thou shalt roast and eat it in the place which the Lord thy God shall choose, and thou shalt turn in the morning and go unto thy tents. Six days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, and on the seventh day shall be a solemn assembly to the Lord thy God. Thou shalt do no work therein. Now, that was the Passover, and it was always to be observed in one place that was in Jerusalem. And all the males went up to Jerusalem at that time. Verse 9, Seven weeks shalt thou number unto thee, begin to number the seven weeks from such time as thou beginnest to put the sickle to the corn. Now, what we have here, of course, is Pentecost, because it was 50 days. They numbered seven weeks, which would be 49, and then the next day would be Pentecost. Then we come to verse 13. We're told here, Thou shalt observe the Feast of Tabernacles seven days after that thou hast gathered in thy corn and thy wine. Now, this was the feast that they were to come to Jerusalem. That is, the males were to come to Jerusalem three times a year. And that, by the way, is stated here. This, as I've said, has been given to us before, and here it is given to us again in this particular chapter. You have three feasts at Jerusalem, that is, that were to take place at the place God chose. And these three feasts, as we've indicated, Passover, the Feast of Weeks or Pentecost, and the Feast of Tabernacles. And all males are to go. Verse 16, it says, Three times in a year shall all thy males appear before the Lord thy God in the place which he shall choose, in the Feast of Unleavened Bread, and in the Feast of Weeks, and in the Feast of Tabernacles. And they shall not appear before the Lord empty. Every man shall give as he's able, according to the blessing of of the Lord thy God, which he hath given thee. Now, they are to come with joy before the Lord. Those are the three things for the three feasts. There were to be three feasts. They were to celebrate in Jerusalem. All males were to go up at that time, and they were to go with rejoicing. Then this chapter closes with the judges. It says, "'Judges and officers shalt thou make thee in all thy gates.'" You see, the courthouse in that day was not a block in the center of town in a courthouse square. Instead of being in the center of town, it was out at the edge of town where the gate was that was in the wall around the city. And the reason for that is that's the place where all the citizens sooner or later went in. It was the gathering place. And just as the square today in our towns is the gathering place, at least it once was, now we are told here in verse 21, Thou shalt not plant thee a grove of any trees near unto the altar of the Lord thy God, which thou shalt make thee. Neither shalt thou set thee up any image which the Lord thy God hated. The groves were connected with idolatry and with sinful worship in that day. 
and for that reason why they were not to make groves. It was in these groves that the altars and images and idols were made to heathen and pagan gods. This is very close, as you can see, to the worship of the Druids that was in Europe and also in England, connected with tree worship, you see. Paganism goes in for that type of thing, and God's warning His people against that.